Here's a Nell Spot 007 that just sold off BocciPaintball.com and I wanted to do a quick breakdown video of it since uh, I want to check and make sure it airs up but I figured I'd just do a breakdown video of it at the same time. So first thing I'm going to do is going to remove the front grip frame screw. Front grip frame screw is removed. Slide the body off. Unscrew this pump handle screw. Slide our pump handle off. You can see we have a barrel extension on here. I'm not going to remove the barrel extension. And I'm going to slide the internals out. Take a look at the internals. It's our front grip frame screw, pump handle. Position a little bit better here. So stock bolt, stock hammer. We can see it does kink like that. Looking at this hammer, I would say it may have been modified for a for the trigger pull to be lighter. Looking at our power tube, it's unmarked. It does look wide though. Take a slightly thicker flat head out and screw my back in grip valve body screw with it. Looks like it has a Lapco valve retaining screw. Take my crescent wrench. Unscrew the valve retaining screw off of it. So there's our valve assembly. It has a three hole power tube. I would say it's probably Lapco. Check my Power tubes inner diameter is 0 0.171, which is pretty good. It's about a between a four and a six. Screw our valve assembly back on. You can see our seal looks pretty good in our piercing cup. Tighten our valve retaining screw up. Drop it back on, just like that. Screw our back valve body screw in. It's pretty good. Stick our internals back in our body. Go ahead and cock them. Put our pump handle on. Take this Allen wrench. Pull our pump screw hole down. Make our pump handle screw 90 degrees. Put our screw in. Screw it together. There, I can feel it's catching. I believe. There we go. Slide our slide our grip frame receiver back on. You can see I pulled the trigger and cocked the hammer. Drop our front grip frame screw in. See if I can get it started by hand. There we go. Take my screwdriver the last couple turns. Oops. There we go. Nice and tight. Now we're reassembled. I'm now going to test this Nell Spot 007 for leaks. So pop my grip off. Take my 12 gram dummy. Take my CO2 tank. Put it off to the side. Put my 12 gram dummy in here. Screw my speed wheel out. the top of my dummy make sure it's pretty much nice and smooth and it is now I can screw it in it's pretty tight now with my my valve here can flow some air to the null spot you can see we have a leak down the barrel probably a cup seal leak so I'm going to just disconnect that and repair my cup seal.
So I disassembled the valve and reassembled it, and now I'm going to air it up. And there's no leaks. Turn the air off and bleed the valve. Test it one more time. Still no leaks. Bleed the valve. Test it one more time. Still no leaks. Bleed the valve. So it's looking good. Quickly reassemble. Maybe test it one more time. Airs up without leaks. Cycle it. Turn my safety off. Cycles without leaks. And we're good to go.